Danielle from Banning Lane and I am bringing you the first Twerk It Thursday video. So every Thursday we will be picking a sketch to work with, but I wanted to start off by showing you the inspiration pieces that were picked for this week. I think Hannah did such a good job at picking these and I think this group of pillows just looks so cute and um, of course were very inspiring. The pillow that I liked the most was this white one with black plus signs. I just um, really liked how organized and simple it was and it was right up my alley, I guess. But I also really liked some of the other pillows that were had a striped pattern, so I definitely used those as inspiration as well. Uh, now the sketch that I picked to work with is this one from Designs by Diana and I will link to her blog down below so that you can get a better look at this sketch and she has a bunch of other ones on that blog as well to look at. It's a fairly simple sketch because I'm a fairly simple scrapbooker but of course you can make what you want of it. So um, the photo that I chose to scrapbook today is this one of my nieces and nephews and my daughter in front of this ginormous shark. My sister has a museum in her city that has a bunch of, um, uh, well, it has dinosaur bones and things like that in it, but it also has a shark room. And my daughter is obsessed with sharks and my nieces and nephews know that. So they were excited to show her this room. And it, I just, I wanted to make sure to get this story told and in her book. So I'm going to be doing an eight and a half by 11 layout today and I already have my journal printed up on my background paper and so I just need to go ahead and pick my, um, my stripes that are going to go behind my photo. Now when I first saw that, that pillow with the plus signs, this is the pattern that I immediately thought of. This is a card that came in one of my Allie Edwards story kits and I knew I had it um, and I knew that I wanted to use that. And I also think it um, goes well with the theme of my layout. Um, but like I said, it's the first paper that I thought of when I saw that, that pillow. Um, this white and gray striped pattern paper is also one that um, I thought of from one of the stripe pillows that I saw so I knew I was going to be using those two pieces of paper. So now I'm just getting these strips cut down. I'm just varying the width of the paper as well as the lengths of the paper and now I'm just going to begin the process of um, organizing them behind my photo. Now that wood grain paper that I put down first. I really liked the look of those nails on the bottom of it and I knew that I wanted that to stick out. So I knew that I would be using that as my, as the, you know, the strip that I put on the bottom. But other than that, I really just tried to um, do a nice combination of plain versus pattern, bold versus not bold. Um, none of these patterns are really that bold, but there are some that are um, a little bit more bold than the other prints. So I just tried to make a nice mixture of all of those elements. And then when I got done and I looked at my photo on these strips of paper, it looked, I don't know, like it was missing something. So I decided to just take some plain white cardstock from my stash and put a little tiny little mat behind my photo so that you just saw just a peek of that white sticking out from my photo. And my hope was that that would just make it feel like it belonged a little better. And I and I think that it did. Um, at least to my eye, it just looks a little bit better to me. Um, so I was happy with the way that looked. And then I had some of this blue paper. Um, I had cut the middle out to use as one of my strips. And the reason why I did that is I thought that I might want to do a mat around my whole layout. And I know that it's a little bit hard to see because that paper kind of blends in with my, um, with my mat on my table. But I did like the way that looked. So I knew that I needed to cut um, about a quarter of an inch off of my layout. So I did, it, it was easy from the top to bottom. I just cut off a quarter of an inch off the bottom of my layout. But since my journaling was centered, I kind of had to just do an eighth of an inch off of each side, um, which I don't know how even it ended up being, but um, it, it's even enough that it looks it looks fine. So I definitely just went with it. Now that, that teal background paper, it's a little in the lower left-hand corner. It's kind of beat up a little bit. I, and that's why I didn't know if I wanted to use it. It's the only one I had of this color, so it's the only one that I necess I could use. Um, and I think that it's going to be fine. It's a little beat up, but it's not that big of a deal to me. And I don't I don't think that's where my eye goes when I look at this layout. And so I I decided to just go with it. 
Now I'm beginning to get all of my layers taped down to my layout and I am going to be putting a title on on this page and so I pull out these October afternoon stickers, letter stickers, just so that they can I can use them as sort of a um, holding spot for my title so I can make sure that I had enough room or that I liked the spacing of it. I knew that everything was going to be a little tight so I wanted to make sure that I left just the right amount of room. Um, and then as soon as I figured that out, I just began the process of using my tape runner to get all of these strips put down into place. As I mentioned earlier, I am scrapbooking about visiting um, the shark room at the museum and it really was the cutest thing to watch my nieces and nephews get so excited as we approach this room because they just knew my little girl would get so excited. And then to see, um, you know, to see my little London just get so excited to see all these really big sharks, it was, it was really exciting. She had me take a couple pictures of a few of her favorites. And then of course we got this group shot and it just, it was exciting. And she will even look back at these pictures and tell me all about seeing all of the big sharks and it's it's just a super cute story I think and it really um it tells the story of how much my daughter really does like sharks so um I'm happy I'm, I'm happy to be getting it in her book um so I'm just working on the little embellishment that's going to go on my layout I'm using this metal rim tag and I'm just using my one inch circle punch to cover up the hole that's in that now in the sketch it shows this embellishment in the um, on the left hand side of the photo but I just felt that it, it looked a little crowded so I'm putting it on the right side of the photo and then I'm going to be sticking this cork cart in the middle of that. I think that's a cute embellishment to go along with my story and then I'm going to work on my title and I'll be the first to admit that I'm horrible at titles. I don't come up with creative imaginative titles and a lot of times I won't even put them on my layouts. Um, but we are visiting the shark room, so that's what I title my page. And I use October afternoon um, alphabet stickers for the, you know, the, the blue part of my title. And then these little white letters are from Basic Gray. And um, these, the word that is not perfect, and I like it that way. Um, I just put them on however they were. Um, and then after that, I decide to take my sewing machine and just stitch through my title. And then the last thing I need to do is get the date put on my layout. And I chose to use this Amy Tangerine date stamp. It's one of those ones that have the little phrases on the side. And there was a few phrases that I thought would be great, but then I noticed it had a section of sort of wonky plus signs. And I thought that that would be a good choice because that was one of my inspirations for this layout. And you'll see here that I'm testing out a few different red inks, which is just silly. Any one of those red inks would have been perfect. I don't know why I felt the need to try them all out. The only thing it did was playing with all those red inks, got red, red ink all over my fingers, and I ended up with a couple of red fingerprints on my layout. I decided not to worry about it too much. I just take an eraser and I get it off the best I can and I call it good. Um, but I, I don't know. I, you'll see that I hesitate even putting the stamp on this layout. Um, there's something about red ink that just freaks me out. Um, I am really, really hesitant to put it on and then I turn the layout around and um, I'm still hesitating a little bit and it, I don't even end up stamping it very good, um, but it gets on there. And then I call this layout finished. So I really did enjoy working with all these little strips of paper. I thought it was a lot of fun and I actually made a second layout, but I just took a little bit different of an approach. So if you wanted to check out that layout, head on over to my YouTube channel. It's Banning Lane, but I will put a link to that down below. And I would also really encourage you to uh, come back tomorrow to check out Friday's video. Uh, the theme for Friday is Art Party Friday and I know I'm really excited to check out uh, that video so I will be here too. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye